Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, this honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukhah Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and others of Great Millstone who honor the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from, through the Holy Spirit. And honor, salutations, and blessings to the men that are preaching the gospel of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, in all sincerity, diligence, and truth, feeding the lambs of Yahweh Shai as commanded. And peace, grace, and blessings be upon the house of David, which is the elect. Um, just a real quick um, article, news information, um, going in again, you know, through the spirit on, um, you know, this uh, CBDC, uh, excuse me, um, in these various different um, countries that are, you know, uh, pushing their, uh, uh, you know, perspective monetary systems to do these uh quote-unquote uh testings of cross-border um uh what is it cross-border payment systems or payments so here we have uh you know the small hats the israeli norway and sweden central banks partner with the bis which is the bank of international settlements which is also referred to as the uh, central bank of all central banks, right? So it says to explore the CBDC payments. The Project Icebreaker <laughs> initiative aimed to improve cross-border payments by reducing costs and, and, and increasing speed and transparency with a final report expected in Q1 of 2023. Now, when you go into the definition of what an icebreaker is which you know we know what that is uh you have one it's talking about a ship that is used to break through channels of ice but the second one it says a thing that serves to relieve inhibitions and inhibitions or tensions between people or start a conversation so when you think about what these uh various different um uh, countries and their economies you know are doing all right it's it's uh, no coincidence that they named it project icebreaker because they're trying to relieve quote unquote the tension all right because a lot of people are waking up um to what is going on a lot of people are seeing that you know these uh various different countries are pushing toward this digital uh, system which this digital system is going to be used for uh the uh you know the 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 god of this world the elites or the you know the wicked rulers to um further have a uh, control and power you know over uh the 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 world all right over the people of the world but they have to once again you know uh, uh do it by gradualism okay so let's read it. it says the bank of international settlements or the bis has reported it will be partnering with central banks of small hats norway and sweden to explore international retail and remittance payments use cases for central bank digital currencies in a 20, uh, September 28th announcement, the BIS said that the collaboration named Project Icebreaker will involve the bank's innovation hub Nordic Center, Center testing key functions and technological feasibility of interlinking domestic CBDC system. And that right there lets you know that this is going to be something that is going to bring all of these countries, um, you know, together. All right that one monetary system now they may have different you know their own different um you know digital dollar cryptocurrency uh central bank digital dollar or digital uh currency however these digital currencies are going to be interchangeable or interoperable all right and this is what the bis the mif the world bank all right. This is what they're all are, are collaborating and in, in doing. You see, and that's how you have that, um, 
uh, uh, Revelation 13 and 16 causing all, right? Because it's not going to be just in America, all right, or in the UK or in Europe. This is going to be something that is worldwide. And as we are seeing, the Bank of International Settlements is a uh, bank that, like I said, is considered or, or referred to as the central bank of all central banks. So it says the central bank will develop a new hub in which the central bank of Norway, the bank of 48ers and the Servage or the Servige Risk Bank. So if I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, let me see if I can see what it Let's see something. Sveriges. There you go. It says can connect their proof of concept CBD systems. Beju Shai, the head of the international the innovation hub Nordic Center, said the experiment will explore CBDC designs and architecture as well as related policy concerns. The project aims to improve cross-border payments using CBDCs by reducing costs and ex and increasing speed and transparency. With a final report expected in the first quarter of 2023, efficiency and accessibility and, and accessible cross-border payments are of extreme importance for a small and open economy like Israeli. And this was identified as one of the main motivations for a potential issuance of a digital shekel. The results of the project will be very important in guiding our future work on the digital shekel. So once again, this is a uh, full steam ahead by all of these various different uh, countries. Right. Says the bank, the BIS reported on September 27th that a CBDC pilot involving the central banks of Hong Kong, Thailand, China and United Arab Emirates was successful. After a month-long test facilitating $22 million worth of cross-border transactions, other countries' central banks have launched similar in, uh, initiatives related to improving cross-border settlements. As institutions in Australia, Singapore, Malaysia, and South Africa announced in September 2021. It says the Central Bank of Norway, the Bank of Israeli, and uh, that word, Sivridge, whatever, has been considering the benefits of rolling out their prospective CBDCs while China reportedly expanded the trials of the digital want to larger swaths of the country in September. In the United States, lawmakers and regula regulators have taken different approaches to explore the digital dollar, while a March executive order from President Joe Biden has government departments and agency research, research the benefits and risk of a CBDC. So, like I said, I just want to read this once again, just showing you, all right, because we cannot be ignorant of Satan's devices. And as the scripture says, that we have to continuously be upon our watchtower, all right? Or we got to continually be uh, uh, paying attention to this because this is the beast system, that digital, uh, that digital uh, uh, system that the, um, the uh, uh, Karagma is going to be used as the um, the medium of exchange. Okay, so we're seeing them uh, 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 bring this to fruition, and, and it's happening quickly, man. So just want to read this, all right, Lord willing. You know, uh, it was informative and edifying to the elect, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash. Shalom.